it's just it's pine and there's like but there's there's palmettos everywhere but it's just like thick like this yeah. and, it's, and it's mostly pine so things can move really fast. but at the same time there's enough underbrush so that something can easily just disappear from you yeah, that's a little ATV trail or a path, yeah. We can hike that. Um, it is the tight spot. It looks so tight. Doesn't look tight in the day. Daytime. Early in the morning like this, the trees look much darker because the angle of the sun on the back side, so it just creates a great contrast. rises up on top of you, the trees kind of all level out, and then as they progress, the sun's on the other side of the trees, and the, the opposite side of the trees look really creepy, and this is just typical to, gives trees a, a creepy feeling, and you see dark ones mixed in with light ones with the sun beaming on them. Side of it, and it's been running for how long now? Um, a good what, 12 hours? Yeah. But at night, that thing lights up, and the whole the whole area around here was very bright with the the lights coming out of it so anything that would have been walking by would have seen it and we put out some candy for um, something to something maybe take right Could that have been oh that's where that sign was I, that oh. sign was laying down I, I put I stood the sign up so the reflection from the light would come off of it So what we were hoping was that we would find footprints or maybe something would come stand in this soft pile of dirt and um, leave an impression coming to take the light. And, you know, you just got to try things, experiment. 